Hi everyone, welcome back to Arctic RC and today of course for TopRCHobby.com we are going up to the airfield. It's beautiful weather but sadly it's still windy and it has been for the three last weeks. So, but we're going to test out the new mini series Warbird from Top RC Hobby and we have two of them here now. We have the Messerschmitt, beautiful, and we have the Spitfire, beautiful. Uh, we have chosen to use the wheels. Um, I'm not sure if that is a good idea because it's quite windy. These planes aren't made for wind, but they have a great stabilization system. So we will have to test them, but enough about that. Let's go to the airfield and have some good fun. Before we do this review, I want to let you all know that no money changed hand during these tests. Uh, there are no affiliate links. Um, and I don't earn anything and I can put out the video if I like the planes or not. So today we are testing out the uh, mini series from TopRCHobby.com. Uh, we are testing out the Spitfire and of course the Messerschmitt. Uh, these are beautiful park flyers. Uh, I don't know uh, how they do uh, fly yet. I haven't tried them yet because we have had such bad weather. Today it's beautiful, but it's about five meters per second wind. So it will be a test for how they can fly in wind as well. They come with battery uh, in the uh, battery compartments. So if you're looking for that, you can look inside here. Um, I believe they are 3.7 uh, volts, uh, 400 milliamp. Uh, good for about five or six minute flights, I think. Uh, we're going to do the Messerschmitt uh, first and then we will do the Spitfire uh, afterwards. I'm now flying in mid rate, that means I have stabilization, but I have a bit more control. But actually, it handles the wind quite good. Okay. So let us do that closer. This is the aerobatic button. <laughs> well, it did roll with the press of one button. Let us land. <laughs> the only bush. The plane comes with two uh, uh, two sets of props, one spare of course, and when you hit the bush like this, you just snap it on place again, and if you break the ad adapter, there is an adapter also together with the extra propeller. Much better. Not that good, but the stabilization system works pretty great, I think. Because it's a fair amount of wind here now. Okay, it did that. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> it still wants to go into the bush. Of course, I wanted to do uh, uh, 
test with no wind but I guess that this test is more honest because it is actually wind. So uh, now it's the Spitfire's uh, turn. Uh, we established that uh, the Messerschmitt it flew great in uh, the mid setting and considering that it actually was broken when I got it, it flies uh, very well. I won't recommend any beginner pilot to fly with less than beginner or in beginner or mid mode. Uh, even expert mode was hard for me. Uh, the plane was really bouncing, but that's due to the wind, of course. But that's a great uh, feature to have. <laughs> okay. Felt a little bit nose heavy. This one is a bit more twitchy due to the wind. <laughs> Beautiful landing. No. <laughs> okay, you need to have a lot of speed trying to land uh, these ones, especially in the wind. One good landing. One more try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oi. <laughs> okay, let's go to the conclusion. These are scale and beautiful small models. Um, are they for um, beginners? Yes, I think so, together with a more experienced pilot. Um, I believe that in the mid or the beginning uh, beginner rates, you will have a lot of fun with uh, these. They're pretty hard to land, and that is because when you are throttling down, as you do with uh, other uh, model airplane, you are able to sort of glide a little bit on the speed, but when you have the wind as we have here now, uh, it's a bit more difficult and I think that uh, they are actually too small and they are losing speed too fast. So um, other than that, I think they are beautiful. <laughs> um, okay, would I buy one? Uh, for a part flyer, uh, definitely cool to have in your collection. And if you're traveling and you want to travel lights and you love flying, uh, the, these ones, they are cool. Um, the Spitfire came in a white box, which is easy to travel with. Uh, the Messerschmitt came in a smaller box. Uh, I believe that the packing of this one was much better than the Messerschmitt. But other than that, 
I really like uh, these uh, and I'm not biased or anything but uh, the Messerschmitt flew better than the Spitfire that I can say but it has something to do with the wing shape and so on as well um, and uh, we have to take in consideration that we are having a lot of wind here so um, until next time see you guys and have a great day